Thank you very much, everyone. The first time I stood in front of you and gave a lecture and realized that this work was my mission was 10 years after the age of 20, when I was exactly 30 years old. When I first gave my lecture, people gathered from all over Japan, though there were only 86 people. And today, Saitama Super Arena is filled with people, and it is being broadcasted live to 3,500 places throughout Japan and throughout the world. My lectures are also being translated into 27 different languages, into a form of a book. Slowly, but surely, I feel that the Dharma wheel is being turned and is spreading all over the world. I believe this is saying that the path I decided to take in life at the age of 30 and the fact that I kept going without losing my way were true. At that time, there wasn't a single person who believed in me. There were only a small number of people who believed the words of enlightenment or the words of revelation I received from the heavenly world at the time. However, the battle has been steadily moving forward. That is because I have been speaking directly into people's heart. What I have always been saying are the fact is fact and the truth is truth and truth never dies. If my teachings were lies or false, then I would probably be defeated by all kinds of criticisms, accusations and verbal abuses. However, no matter how much criticisms I receive or how harsh the headwind is, the truth never fails to move forward. Through my own life, I believe that I have been showing everyone how righteousness opens up the path in life and becomes a driving force to achieve a greater progress. Today, I am giving a lecture entitled The Grand Strategy for Prosperity. I want to tell you from the standpoint of a religious leader the kind of mindset you need to hold on to, a basic attitude that is required of each one of you. You may ask what these are. You may be placing expectancy on the greater power of the government and expecting to be given from the government. And you may be thinking that by changing the system, framework, or structure of society, a brighter future will open up for you.
However, if each and every citizen of the country is relying on the government in this way, then this is insufficient as spiritual training for each and every one of you. As a citizen, you must remember that a big government will always lead the people into corruption. History has proved this. It is dangerous to rely too much on big powers. We can receive the benefits that the big government offers. However, each and every one of us living in that society must work on ourselves and grow into an individual who is independent, who is able to make decisions and who is able to think about the future on our own. The grand strategy for prosperity is not something that the government alone should set up. If the quality of each citizen declines, then the country's grand national strategy, its politics, economy, and various other structures will also be something incomplete and insufficient. Therefore, today I dare say to you, return to the basics once again. I would like you to return to the starting point and think to yourself what you can do. Each and every citizen of the country needs to launch their own revolution within. What is this revolution within? What is this revolution within that is required of us now? What is this revolution that we are meant to make within our minds? It is to be aware once again of the fact that while people living in this modern age of progressive scientific civilization have many excellent aspects, they have forgotten something very, very important. There are many people being born now who think God is dead. God doesn't exist anymore, or humans can take the place of God. Even so, if you can't give answers to the questions, what is a human being? Where were you before birth? And where will you go after death? What is your objective in life? Then you can never be called an extraordinary person. It is tremendously difficult to make a large population heading toward 10 billion prosper in peace and bring them happiness. Do you think God, Buddha, Tathagatas, Bodhisattvas, and angels of light in the heavenly world will stay indifferent regarding that? Change your heart and rebuild it. Once again, fill this world with a strong breath of prosperity. That is what is important. In order to do so, what must you do? Heaven has already given us its commands. Create the kingdom of God. Create the land of Buddha. And create utopia on earth. 
Heaven has already given these commands. People who believe in these words must think about what they can do in response to these words. First, one of the things I want to ask you to do is this. Please, be humble. The ones who will become your leaders should be those who listen to the voice of heaven obediently and who try to realize that wish here on earth. I hope so. Put differently, that is the exploration of the right mind, that is the establishment of the right mind. Next, what you must do is truly, truly ordinary and common sense. It contains something that has been told for a long, long time. What is this something? I want to confirm once again of this very, very simple fact that in order for humans to succeed, become happy and prosper in this world, they need to persevere and give efforts. This year, we are carrying out our activities with my book, The Laws of Perseverance, as the basis. I know this is an age where you can't progress too far, even if you consistently give efforts. This age of perseverance is indeed the period when you are tested to see if you are the real deal. People succeed, but it's not only because they have top-rate talent. Historically, many who succeeded didn't have top-rate talent. They weren't top-rated in their talent, but they endured again and again and never stopped giving efforts. Such people rose over their difficulties over and over again and left great steps in the history of mankind. Please do not regret over not having enough abilities or not being full of talent. If you think you have super top-rate talent, let me tell you that there have been many such people in the past. People who think they have super top-rate talent usually don't like to give efforts. They think about getting through life as efficiently as they can. They don't persevere, and they are easily distracted in life. They seek easy answers or desire for easy conclusions to come to them. In terms of faith, they ask for immediate results, such as in the form of miracles. But now, I'll speak on the behalf of all the guiding spirits in the heavenly world. People in the heavenly world do not only wish for all your wishes to come true immediately. They wish, from the bottom of their hearts, that you continue to persevere and give efforts through several dozens of years in this world. They wish for you to continue to shine your souls, build on your achievements, and walk the path to success. They are right next to you, giving you advice, saying that this is the direction you should go. Nonetheless, being patient and persevering, giving efforts, getting the fruit of success, and wishing for the happiness of other people, it's the life of each and every one of you to practice these things. 
That is also your right. Do not wish to be given everything. I hope that you will live a life of sharing your happiness of being born in this world, however little it may be, with other people. On a global scale, there are major issues. There are issues regarding war and peace. There are also issues regarding the relationship between peace and prosperity. These are all great, great issues. These aren't things that a single individual can deal with. However, what we must be careful about now is this. We must prevent a tyrant or a dictator from emerging and leading many people in the wrong direction in a world with a population of 7 billion people. In order to do so, as I have just said, we need each and every independent individual's efforts, perspiration, perseverance, and the attitude to keep learning. A country that is able to make a lot of such people will protect the world. Have the right recognition. Have the wisdom to tell good from evil. We must create such people, otherwise we can't lead the world in the right direction. We must create many such people, otherwise we can't open the path to prosperity. Right now, it's not possible for just one person to make the world happy. It's possible to give each and every person an advice, but happiness is something that each person grasps with their own hands. Please, don't forget this. Don't rely on a large government. Each and every one of you should raise your quality as a human being. Your cooperative power, network, and groups will create a large, great flow, improving the country and making this country prosper in peace. Also, should an ambitious country appear, we must properly teach its people what the right way is. This is what is important. Things you do yourself can be taught to others, to those who have a peaceful mind and live every day persevering and giving efforts. Abuse and criticisms thrown at them will be reflected back at the people who launch those words. This is how the truth works. The truth is a mirror. The one in the mirror is not someone else. It is you, yourself, and your country. Be righteous. The righteous must be strong. The righteous must be good. The righteous must prosper. Build a future of peace and prosperity. I expect much of you. Let us work together and construct a new age of the future. Thank you very much.